Hi everyone, welcome back to The Digital Bunch. Today we've got something really cool to talk about, metahumans in Unreal Engine. All right, picture this for a second. You're watching the latest sci-fi blockbuster and there's this super realistic character on screen cracking jokes, dodging laser beams, or maybe just doing the classic angry boss face in a corporate office scene. You lean over to your friend and whisper, that actor is amazing. You see, chances are that might not be an actor at all. It could just be a metahuman. You heard me, a metahuman. These ultra-realistic digital humans built with Unreal Engine are shaking up the world of filmmaking, commercials, and even video games. Think back to Love, Death, and Robots. I love that series. Those almost too real to handle characters, metahumans. Or take a look at um, virtual influencers, part of the social media trend and powered by digital wizardry. These are not just CGI tricks, this is the future of storytelling. Dive in and watch our episode to take your metahumans from meh to mind-blowing. So obviously all this sounds great and good, but if you've tried building these yourself, you know the truth. Um, it's not just pressing a button and saying, hey Unreal, give me a photorealistic best friend. It's powerful, but you really need to know what you're doing, or you just end up with something that looks like it belongs in an early 2000s video game cutscene. Today, I'm here to help you avoid these pitfalls. We're covering seven killer tips to master metahumans in Unreal Engine, and we're gonna make them so real, even your grandma might knit them a sweater for Christmas. Oh, and we'll spill actual Unreal Engine hacks along the way. Building a metahuman from scratch is like building IKEA furniture, but luckily Unreal gave us all the manual and instructions. The metahuman creator is already doing 90% of the heavy lifting. But here's the thing, don't just settle for those presets. You can mix and match faces, but really spend time on those details. I can't emphasize that enough. Here's a hack we learned. You can bring custom 3D scans or models of real people into the engine. By using the Mesh to MetaHuman feature, you import your custom face and adjust it with creator tools. Suddenly, you're designing custom digital twins. Play with skin textures, asymmetry, and proportions. Humans are not perfect, neither should your MetaHumans be. Second tip, focus on the face. Yes, I know that sounds obvious because faces are the base of human interactions, right? But here's the deal. If you miss those subtle things like expressions or eye reflections, your metahuman is going to look like an extra from a bad PlayStation 2 game. Oh, and don't skimp on eye reflections. Unreal Engine has these tweaks for subtle light catches that make characters look alive. Skin. It's that thing you don't want to think about until it just looks off. If your metahuman skin looks like glossy plastic or wax, congratulations, you've built a mannequin, not a person. The secret sauce, materials in Unreal Engine. Take advantage of Unreal's shader system. Add subsurface scattering for a more realistic, fleshy look. It mimics how the light penetrates real skin. Go deeper. Texture maps can layer details like pores, blemishes, and even fine wrinkles. What's next? Use sliders for skin roughness and blend zones where the skin shifts, like around the eyes or the mouth. Metahumans have a crazy number of customizable facial expressions. Think of it as like a virtual Botox, but for drama. Adjust every little twitch. Pro tip, add micro movements. No human just freezes unless they're playing hide and seek. The key lies in imperfections. Those tiny differences yeah, they scream realism. Next up, stop blaming your metahuman for looking like plastic Barbie. It's not them, it's your lighting. Lighting in Unreal Engine isn't just functional, it tells a story. Use area lights and subtle shadowing for depth and realism. Watch out for overexposure, which can flatten details in the face, making it look less lifelike. Use realistic light sources to bring out skin tones, make shadows believable, and create depth. Don't just light the character, light the scene. Remember that virtual characters respond to lighting just like us. Harsh top-down lighting, creepy villain vibes. Soft lighting from the side, romantic art film protagonist. 
Practical approach, use ray tracing. The reflections and shadows it brings are mind-blowing. Add indirect lighting bounces for softer, more natural looks. Want next level results? Combine HDRI maps for real world light environments. Outdoor, indoor, sunset, you name it. Think like a cinematographer, not a tech nerd. Underexpose your scene just slightly and bounce light. You'll see that perfectly sculpted virtual nose takes on a life of its own. Hair isn't just hair. It's an obsession, and we need to get serious about it because bad hair can kill immersion faster than someone spotting the boom mic in a movie. Unreal Engine's groom tools are your lifesaver here. Unreal has these mind-blowing groom tools for hair physics. You can control how strands move, reflect light, even get frizzy in the wind. Here's where 90% of people mess up. They ignore secondary movement. Hair should bounce, flow, or at least pretend it's alive. The groom system lets you fine-tune everything about hair, density, movement, and light interaction. And don't ignore dynamics. Add physics simulations to hair so it reacts to movements or an environment, like it sways when your metahuman turns their head. Don't forget secondary interactions like bounce or breeze effects. Hair should move with purpose, not like it's glued to your head. Imagine spending hours perfecting your character's most dramatic monologue and then their hair looks frozen like Lego. That's meme material. Don't be that person. Here's where the big guns come in. You can have the best lighting, hair, um, skin textures, but if the movement is awkward, you've lost us. Static metahumans might look great in still images, but motion reveals their true soul or lack thereof. This is where motion capturing comes in. Now, obviously not everyone's working with James Cameron, so don't feel like you need a Hollywood motion capture studio. You can start small. Even an iPhone paired with Unreal's free LifeLink face app can capture crazy detailed facial expressions. There's also this really cool um, iPhone app that we used for motion capturing the whole body, and it's actually working really well. Extra tip. Manually tweak head and neck movements. Over-reliance on captured input can leave your character feeling mechanical. Always inject those little human quirks that make motion feel organic. Clothes can make or break a character, especially with metahumans. Unreal Physics Engine lets you create realistic cloth behavior. Use cloth simulation tools to give garments personality. A tip from Bad Decision Studio, Add layers to clothing, things like folds, seams, and even dirt maps. Realism isn't about perfection. It's about grounding your metahuman in their world. A warrior in a spotless outfit? Nope. Add worn edges and scratches to that armor. Don't make them look like they were taken from the Witcher series. Fabric shaders in Unreal also elevate things, make silk gleam, leather look rugged, and cotton feel soft. Finally, polish. It's the least glamorous step and also one that separates the amateurs from the pros. Check every detail, from nails to teeth to that weird little shadow under their chin. Metahumans are about making no detail feel overlooked. Here's a special hack. Open movies with scenes similar to your project. Pause, zoom in, and study. What does realistic skin look like under natural light? How do cheekbones catch highlights? Then go back into Unreal Engine and adjust accordingly. Add subtle dynamic imperfections, like a tiny scar, redness around the eyes, or even a mole. Humans are not perfect, and perfect is boring anyways. Finally, we're at the polish phase. Pick up a pro method focus on post-processing FX in Unreal. Ambient occlusion and depth of field add realism. Also, experiment with tone mapping. Tweak how your scene handles contrast and color grading. Done right, it brings a layered filmic quality to your renders. And there you have it, seven killer tips to level up your metahuman game and make them so real your audience might start questioning who's virtual and who's not. That's what you want. Just remember, it's not about creating something flawless. It's about creating something believable, something alive. Follow these tips and next time you hear someone say, that digital human couldn't possibly be fake. You'll know you've done your job. The tools are in your hands. 
If this video gave you something to think about or at least made you laugh at the terrible hair physics, give it a like, hit subscribe and share it with a fellow Unreal enthusiast. This is the Digital Bunch and now go out there and make something amazing or, you know, someone amazing. Catch you in the next one.